Hello friends, welcome back to All in a Law and this is a medical video lecture microbiology. And today's topic of discussion is transport media. Transport media. Okay. So this is a type of what you call a media for the growth of bacteria, transport media. I'm not talking about the PennDOT, okay, Pennsylvania Department of Transport, right? Okay, so here I'm going to talk about the transport media and I'm going to give you some examples and very important for USMLE Step 1 examination. That's why I'm going to talk very briefly. So let's start a discussion and before this, please subscribe to our, what you call, uh, channel okay transport media let's define what's the transport media is you know the name itself indicates is a transport for the transportation of the bacteria right so it should have some conditions it should, it's, it should not be like some other same media like uh, selective media it cannot be like a nutrient media right or differential media it should be something different from that because it has to transport that media so to transport that media from one laboratory to other laboratory or for cultivation, temporary storage of the specimens being transported. So this is from one laboratory to, to second laboratory or for cultivation. So it's for transport. Name itself indicates, right? Right. Now let's talk about the other thing. The other thing, it should contain only buffers in the salt because we should not grow all the organisms along with that while we are transporting so we should contain only buffer and salt okay and it should lack what you call carbon carbon nitrogen carbon nitrogen and organic growth factors organic growth factors growth factors organic growth factors so as to prevent microbial multiplication okay that's really very important and the other important point is maintain the viability of all organisms in the specimen without altering their concentration maintaining okay maintaining the viability 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 of all organisms in the specimen without altering the concentration okay guys and the transport media used in the isolation of anaerobes must be free from molecular oxygens very important there should not be any kind of oxygen, molecular oxygen, for if you are transporting anaerobes because they don't lack, because they don't need oxygen for their growth, right? That's it. So what are the features of transport media? Transport media is nothing but a media that is used for transporting the growth of the bacteria from one laboratory to another or for cultivation, right? And second, it should not contain what you call, it should not contain carbon nitrogen or organic growth factors no okay and what you call it should contains a buffer and a salt only buffer and a salt remember and if you are transporting um, anaerobes then there should not be a molecular oxygen with it right and you should maintain what you call maintain the viability of all organisms in the specimen without altering their concentration okay guys so let's give an example examples okay tell me you tell me because you're gonna give the examination okay for anaerobes for anaerobes tell me which is the transport media is yes thio glycolate thio glycolate broth okay right yeah then we have little start start 
ट्रांसपोर्ट मीडिया ट्रांसपोर्ट मीडिया फॉर होम ए नॉन न्यूट्रिय सॉफ्ट अगर जेल कंटेनिंग रिड्यूसिंग एजेंट टू प्रिवेंट ऑक्सीडेशन एंड चारकोल टू न्यूट्रलाइज ओके सो रिमेम अबर दिस राइट नाउ वी हैव द अदर टाइप दैट इज वी आर दैट इज वेंकट रमन राम कृष्ण मीडियम फॉर विब्रियो कलर आई ओके so this is the important what you call transport media that you should know for your assembly step on examination guys so uh, i'm sure this is really very helpful for you thank you so much for watching this video take care